Bovine is Kevin George. Right. The, the, yeah, the name is Kevin George. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm speaking directly with you, and if it's not you as Kevin George, then I just didn't know what your name was or what your relation is to Kevin George. But if you are that person, that's fine. Do you understand where I'm coming from? No. Names don't speak, so I don't know. I don't understand what you're saying. I'm just asking if you're Kevin George or not. And if you are Kevin George... Well, is Kevin George... Is Kevin George a name? Right. Is that your name? I'm not a name. Okay. Well, I just can't release any information if I don't know who I'm speaking with. And if you're you speaking to the, to, the, to the agent. What's that? You're speaking to the authorized user. Okay. So you are that person. Is that correct or not? Which person? Kevin George. Are you Kevin C. George? No, that's a name. I'm not a name. I'm a I'm a living, breathing man. Right, I understand that. A name is a a name is a word. Right. And I'm that you, that you that that, by, that name you is go governmental. By the name of Kevin George, though. I go by that name. Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, looks like Kevin, we have you at twenty two fifty Nordstrand. I'm not that's Kevin. Kevin. Why are you calling me Kevin? I'll just explain to you, I go by that name. I'm not Kevin C. George. I use that name, so I'd appreciate it if you don't call me Kevin or Mr. George or anything as if you're speaking to me as the name. I'm authorized okay. to use that name, and I am not so Kevin C. George. Anything? Excuse me? Correct. You, just, you don't want to go by anything? You, don't... you can call me okay. sir, but don't refer to me okay. as the name. I'm not. I'm not that name. If I am there, I don't understand your question. Is that, is that your mailing address? 2250 Nordstrand Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11203. Where did you get that information from? That's what's on your account. I don't have an account, ma'am. I'm, I'm calling here concerning Nelnet's account information. This is this is this is Nelnet's information, not mine. So I'm calling to try to I'm trying to help uh, Nelnet out if they're trying to um, get some clarification concerning um, a debt that they they'd like to collect. Um, I'm just uh, willing to help help uh, give some clarification. So. Uh, and okay. What is the information that you need? Um, if you if you're seeking to collect a debt from that name, you'll have to send it to send the information to um, the the address 2250 or 1500 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington D.C. That's the uh, Department of the Treasury. And why would we send it there, opposed to this mailing address? That's the correct billing address. The Department of Treasury is responsible for the money supply. And why is that opposed to? Well, it's a constitutional delegation of authority that they have. They've been delegated the authority to print and issue currency along with the Federal Reserve Bank and member banks. They're in control of the money supply, so they're, if, if, if you guys would seek some sort of funding or, or government funds or something. We're not that's seeking where, any funding. We're, we're discussing a loan that was dispersed to you to go to school. Um, what and evidence? They already funded to you. Ma'am, you, you don't even know me, ma'am, so what are you talking about funds was dispersed to me? You're referring to the name? Correct. I'm referring to the name. Well, once again, I am not the name. So I don't see what what authority you have to insinuate that I am the name. Okay. Is your date of birth the one you verified with me? The date of birth for that name is zero seven two seven one nine seven six. Okay. So you want us to send your bills to them? 
I don't have a bill, ma'am. I, ma'am, I never drew a draft. I never composed a draft or a check. I don't have a bill, ma'am. I don't know where you're getting this information from. You're trying to claim that I own these, these, these things that you're talking about. I don't own an account. I don't own a bill. I'm authorized to use the name that is in your information. It's in L it's Nelnet's information. Right. I'm receiving correspondence here at this location where I am erroneously, and I'm calling Nelnet to assist them in having their information in their records updated and corrected because at the current time it's erroneous and this is not the first time or the second time or the third time that I've I've made this known to okay. Nelnet's employees. So okay. if if unless I can speak to Nelnet on the phone, uh I don't think it's possible to speak to the name Kevin George on the phone. So if you understand why I can't speak to Nelnet on the phone then you should understand why uh, no one can speak to the name on the phone. Okay. So it's, it's the same reason. So all, all I'm telling you is that that name is government, uh, is, 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 is government property. You have to contact the government who's responsible for the money supply if Nelnet wants money because me as a man who's authorized to use that name, the government never authorized me or delegated any powers to me to print or issue money or currency. Okay. That, that power and, and authority remains with the Department of the Treasury and the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. They are responsible for making the money, printing the money, and issuing the money. Okay. Well, I understand where you're coming from now. All right. Can I, ask you, I just want to ask you a question. Um, so you're saying... I'm the authorized user and I'm not the owner of the property. The government is. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You're saying you're not, you're not the owner of these federal bill loans. I'm not the owner of the record information, which is the name Kevin C. George. That's a record. That's recorded government information. That's a name. That's a legal name that the government is the record owner of. I'm an authorized to use that name. I am not that name. I'm authorized to use it. If Nelnet wants some sort of um, a payment for right. that name, right. I'm just the agent. You have to contact my principal or the principal, which is the United States government. Okay. So you need to contact the Treasury because I'm not responsible I'm just authorized to use that name. You have to contact the owner. I'm not the owner. Okay. Well, we can't contact the Treasury. Well, it's not my problem. All I'm telling you is, is that that's the only way that any business can be resolved okay. concerning that name. I'm authorized to use the name. The name is listed as a borrower or whatever the name is listed as, whatever status is upon that name is really not none of my responsibility or concern. I'm just authorized to use that name. I'm not the owner. And I'm not the name. I'm a man. Okay. I don't know what authority Nelnet has to uh, go off of the presumption that um, the name isn't anything more than a name. And it has all the information it needs already to collect the funds that 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 it seeks. I'm not I'm not uh, questioning the debt. I'm not disputing the debt. The debt is none of my business. It's none of my business. I have nothing to do with that. You didn't sign anything. The name that you were given or that you used. I signed on behalf. I, I signed. I signed for the name. Right, you signed for the name. Yes. But did you did you physically go to school? That's what I'm asking you. Did I physically go to school? No. Right. You never went to school at all to use these federal student loans. No, I signed for the name. 